Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and please stop me when this sounds familiar. As you browse your internet and you look at all the various different social media sites, you find somebody somewhere screeching that because NATO hasn't given Ukraine a guarantee of when they can join, and um, they haven't given Ukraine the authorization to join the alliance, it must mean that we've given up on them and it's all over. Believe it or not, that's not the case at all. And this is the thing that really bugs me. You see, what a lot of people get wrong in this discussion is that they tend to forget what Article 5 is, and that countries can't join NATO if they're at war. Yes, that's right. You can't join NATO if you're at war, because, once more, Article 5 exists. Article 5, for those of you that don't know, is a concept and a clause within the NATO alliance which means that if you get attacked, all the member nations have to support you. So, if you hypothetically allow a country, i.e. Ukraine, into the NATO alliance, whilst it's at war, you are now, by default, at war with Russia. And, as a lot of people will probably tell you on the internet, it's not something that we want to happen. Correct? So then why is it that people seem to think that it's not the case and that, you know, it's a sign of weakness? Like, I, I just don't understand this, right? And, of course, people then look at it and they'll go, oh, but there's no time guarantee, there's no time limit. So, obviously, you know, NATO is just, you know, being afraid. They're not. The problem is that no one has a crystal ball. They can't predict the future. Like, this is the thing that really bugs me, right? They sit around confused why, you know, Ukraine isn't given a time for where when it can join. But that's because that's not how things work. No one can predict the future. Like, at the start of this war, people were saying it would take three days for Russia to win. We are over day 500, we're almost at day 500 or something, and Russia still hasn't won. And it's losing because it's being forced back by Ukraine in multiple positions, in multiple flanks, and multiple sides of this conflict. The thing is that this is not based on fact. This is a baseless claim that people make that is not substantiated by any of the evidence that we can access from both sides of the, the debate, okay? Like, that's the thing I need to make clear. Russia has not made any major advances for ages. Ukraine, on the other hand, is making advances as we speak. Are they these colossal war-ending advances? No, but they are advances. And this is the thing that really ticks me off. It's that people will look at that and they'll go, oh, well, Ukraine's not making massive advances, therefore they've lost or they're losing the counteroffensive. And then they'll wonder why people are sitting around what, waiting for the war to end before Ukraine can join NATO, before we can give a time frame. Because the thing is, this war isn't going to be over tomorrow. It's not going to be over next week and it's not going to be over at the end of the year. Or at least that's from my understanding and my estimates. I could be, and I'll happily be proven wrong, by the way. I would be very happy if Ukraine just pulls off a massive coup de grace and just kicks Russia out. But the reality is that's unlikely to occur. The thing is, they look at it and they go, oh, why is Ukraine not doing as well as everyone anticipated? And then, of course, they ask, why is it that no one's letting Ukraine into NATO? Well, the answer, buddy, is guess what? Because none of us can predict the future, and none of us know when the war is going to end. So, it is thus irrational for us to give Ukraine a time frame in which they can join if we don't know when it could end. There are people saying that this war could go for as long as a decade. That is the reality of it. It could eventually turn into a glorified Afghanistan for Ukraine. Just saying. And this is the reason why you need to be quiet about this and you maybe should do a bit of research first before you start commentating on something you obviously know nothing about but yes that's it for now hope you enjoyed if you did and you want to hear another rambling idiot um, talking about ukraine please like and subscribe if not um please like and subscribe anyway because it greatly helps my channel and i really do want to grow this one but i thank you all very much for watching and if you indeed you still are and I thank you all very much for your time. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.